अज्ञान तिमिरान दस्य ज्ञानंजन शलाकया चक्षुरुन मिलित जीन तस्म श्री गुरव नम वंशा कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनिभ वैष्णवभ्यो नमो महापदनाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने गौरत्जे गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय यं प्रव्रजतमुपेतमेतृत्यम द्वैपायनो विरह कातरया जुहा पुत्रे तन्मयतयातर्वोभिनेदो तंग सर्वूतरीद मुनिमा तवैवास्मी तवैवास्मी न जीवामीया विना विज्ञराधे तंग न मरण my humble obeisances in the lotus feet my spiritual master nitya lila pravishtong vishnu pal sishman bhakti pragyan kesav goswami maharaj and also my shiksha guru nitya lila pravishtong vishnu pal sishman bhakti vedant swami maharaj i am very happy to be present here in this very special place where i am going to teach you i am very happy that so many devotees from different part of america here and there also from england from australia so many places <laughs> also hawaii russia oh, so many devotees have assembled here oh so much thanks to them and jo who are junior oh my heartly blessings to them and those who are or oh, disciple from Shri Bhakti Bedan Swami Maharaj, I am very happy to meet with them, like my God brothers. I honor them. I like to honor them, and to help them, as Swami Ji told. So now, oh, we are beginning cl our class because time is so short. In one hour. we cannot or oh, tell so much in india when i used to tell something in my class or oh, one our text my only making my introduction introductions mangalacharan and mangalacharan <laughs> what i want to speak so you know that after krishna leela and vrindavan mathura and after that dwarka all was finished and krishna returned to his own obeyed golok vrindavan about in his aprakat leela and he was thinking something oh at is so many sweet past times i am abode of all rashas oh i am abode of dasya sakha basal and madhur all classes i am object of it but in krishna past time these past times my all wishes were not satisfied something was there remaining three especially wishes and what were their wishes that were not fulfilled in that krishna past time oh 
Tung Vidya, small Tung Vidya can speak about that. What are three oh, wishes of Krishna that were not fulfilled in Krishna past time? Oh, come on and stand up and tell. Quickly, quickly, don't. Minute. Oh, my ink should be given. Yes, you should stand up quickly and tell. Better you can come here with Sam Rani. <coughs> Take the mic. He wanted to know the... Um... Take this. <laughs> that all can understand in such a very good language. Krishna, you are the If you are not understanding, you can raise hand after he is speaking. That, um, he wanted to know, to taste um, Srimati Radhika's extent of her love. Because Krishna himself, he can go up to Mahabhav. But beyond that, he has no experience of that thing. Because in order to experience what is beyond Mahabhav, one has to be in the bhav of someone who loves Krishna. And since Krishna does not love himself, he could not experience what Srimati Radhika experiences in his Sangha and in his separation. Like for instance, when Srimati Radhika is not with Krishna directly, then she will see a tamal tree. And the tamal tree is dark, resembling Krishna's also dark complexion. So sometimes she will embrace that tree she will kiss that tree, she will scold that tree, sometimes she will walk away from that tree as if she's in man, because she's, she's so mad in frame and in separation from Krishna that she's thinking that the tree itself is Krishna. So when Krishna sees this, he thinks, oh, how amazing, because when I see a kadam tree, which is very golden and reminds him of Srimati Radhika, when I see a kadam tree, I don't go mad and embrace that kadam tree and kiss it and scold it and talk to it as if it were Radhika herself. So Krishna was thinking, this is something very amazing, something that I've never experienced, and I want to have this experience also, because Krishna wants to have every experience that there is to experience. So he wanted to experience that experience, and he also wanted to um, know the glories of Srimati Radhika's love, and... Um, the, oh, how Krishna is sweet. Oh yeah, Krishna, his own sweetness, that um, everyone's... His Sweetness of Bansi, sweetness of his, his pastimes and everything. He wanted to to test, but he could not test. You don't know all this? Hmm. Shamrani, you should again. You try, try to explain more. And very so, not so much. <laughs> oh, don't do pranam at once, quickly. <laughs> you should do pranam next day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adi Leela's chapter 1 and 4, the answer to Srila Gurudev's question is given by Sri Sarup Damodar, who wrote a very nice verse knowing the heart of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, why he came, why Krishna came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Radha, Sri Radha, Pranaya Mahima, Kidri Shovanayaiva. Krishna's first desire was to understand the limit of the glories of the love of Srimati Radhika. Krishna himself says, I am Purnananda, I am the reservoir of all happiness. Just one atomic particle of my happiness can drown the entire world in happiness. Yet I become maddened by the love of Srimati Radhika. That love drives me mad, just like a leaf which is blown around in a hurricane has, is completely controlled by that wind. I am controlled by the love of Radhika which is my guru. So he wanted to understand the extent of that love. 
as Sri Tungavidya Didi said, Radhika is the abode of you know, love. You know that Krishna is one rush and one rush. So what is in not Krishna, even it is in Radhika. Clear it. All the ecstatic emotions that are, are in Srimati Radhika's Madanakya Mahabhav, this uh, Aneka Ras, Krishna cannot experience. He's uh, Eka Ras, he's Akila Rasamrita Sindhu, the reservoir of all relationships. And he gives happiness to all of his devotees. But he cannot taste the happiness of his most exalted devotees. He cannot taste all those unlimited mm, devotional sentiments. He cannot even taste the love of Lalita and Vishaka, what to speak of Srimati Radhika. So in order to understand the glory of that love, he came as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Swadyo Jainatma Madhurima Kidrisho Vamadhyo. He also wanted to taste and understand himself. He said, I'm full, but still I cannot understand my own self, and I cannot taste my own self. Krishna is Atma, Atma Ram. That means he takes pleasure in his own self. But he could not take full pleasure in his own self as much as Srimati Radhika tastes or experiences. Neither can he experience the pleasure of his own self without the association of his own self, that is Srimati Radhika. Just like one lover says to a beloved, Oh, you are my life and soul. This is a perverted reflection of the absolute reality of Krishna. Srimati Radhika is the life and soul and the Sarva Lakshmi Mai. She is the embodiment of all of Krishna's six opulences. He wouldn't be beautiful, he wouldn't be happy, he wouldn't be full of knowledge, he wouldn't have all strength, he wouldn't have all renunciation, and he wouldn't have all fame if his embodiment of all these six opulences was not in his association. So he is Atmaram only in the association and by the mercy of Srimati Radhika. So he cannot taste his own self and enjoy his own self, his four sweetnesses, as Sri Tanga Vidya Didi said. Oh, second sweetness. <laughs> that Krishna is so much beautiful in the whole world and he can attract his beauty to all. Radhika is more beautiful than Krishna. Krishna admits more beautiful. But there is something in me in my but the beauty, 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 also sweetness in my sweet, fruit. my fruit, and sweetness in my pastimes, and so many sweet qualities, that Radhika becomes mad. So what is in me, these sweet things? Oh, I cannot test all these things. If I will have a mood of Radhika, intrinsic mood, eh, then I can understand how sweet myself, my float, my all the qualities and pastimes. There, all the gopis, especially Radha, become so mad and unmatta. So what is that? And what is the happiness in them when they see to me? <clears throat> I want to test, but I have not moved of Radhika. Radhika can test. So, he begged the mercy of Radhika, or he stole away, steal away, stole, he stole away. Intrinsic beauty of, intrinsic mode of Radhika and beauty, to test himself, to realize his beauty, Radha Prane Mahima and all other things. So he can descend to this world in the shape of Sachinandan Gaurhari. He took birth 
in Navadip Dham. About 500 years before. No? before. And there, he took birth on the same day when there was some sun solar eclipse. Solar All were taking bath in Ganges. Hari bol, Hari bol, go All are lakhs and lakhs devoted. When? Just in evening. The whole world at that time, oh, they were reciting Hari Krishna, uh, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. He was so beautiful, so marvelous, that all began to tell the name of the boy, nickname. What? Gauranga. What is the meaning of Gauranga? So, golden complexion. Golden complexion. complexion. So, Gauranga. They kept the name Nimai. Why Nimai name? Oh, the sons and daughters of Sashi Mata before Vishwaru. Oh, all were dying. They kept this Nimai name that it is like a Nim tree. Bitter. Bitter, very bitter. So, Jam will not come and will not take my son. So they took. They kept the name Nimai. From boyhood, oh, he was so naughty as Krishna. So naughty, more than Krishna. Hmm? And up till the age of eight or nine, he completed his all study of Vyakaran and everything. <coughs> and at very time, that time, oh, he began a Sanskrit Patsala high school. And very learned scholars were there with him. And at that time, a very oh, prominent scholar of whole India, defeating all everywhere, he came in Navadi. And he challenged that any one who can challenge me, he can come and I will defeat or either he will defeat. Then I will be disciple or he will be my disciple. Challenge. Understanding my lame English? Yes. <laughs> oh. When he has oh so many cards oh full of Ved, Upanishad, Shastra, Puran and all these things. And he was unparalleled. Oh, high class of learning. He used to make so many slokes, one after another, hundred and thousand, without any spot. Oh, new and new, without any wrong thing. <coughs> then he challenged, but none came forward. They told that Nimai is very, what, person, and he always defeats us. So why not we say that oh, among us, uh, this grammar teacher, Onimai Pandit, uh, tell where is is. If you are defeating him, oh, we will think that oh, you have defeated all. So go first to him and discuss with him. <coughs> oh, Mahaprabhu. Nimai Pandit at the age of only twelve. He defeated. That you know. You all know that. And you should try to know all these things. Very easily he defeated. But when he disciples began to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu disciples, the Chhatra students. students began to laugh and clap. clap. He told them, Don't do he was with honor to all. And he told to that Kaisa Kashmiri that you should meet me tomorrow. Now you are so much tired, you should go. And then in the night, he called his deity, Saraswati Devi. Oh, Saraswati Devi, you are very unkind to me today. 
if I was defeated by any learned person, or oh, no harm, but a very simple or oh, grammar teacher, <laughs> or oh, even the age of twelve, well, and he defeated me. Oh, I should die! I should die! <laughs> At once, Saraswati Devi came. The Predominating duty of, duty of knowledge. learned knowledge. knowledge. She at once appeared and told, Oh, you are very lucky and fortunate. You should not think that he is any my pandit, grammar pandit. He is help himself, supreme personality of Godhead, Krishna. And he has come to help this whole world, to make liberated and to give praise. So don't think him as a very simple boy. Hmm? Oh, in the morning you should go and go and beg some apology. And then you should take his shelter. In the very morning he went hmm? to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he fell flat on his lotus feet. <coughs> oh, I've done some offenses in the lotus feet. Please excuse me. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told that, O Brahman, oh, the fruit of vidya, learning, is not to defeat anyone here or there. So at once, I am initiating you. You should repeat me, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. You should know that na Nam and Nami, Krishna and this His name, are transcendental. Both are same. From tomorrow you should go and chant this name. And very soon you will release. At once he should go back. And then he came to Mathura Vrindavan. After that, oh, all the teachers there, very famous, very learned in Neodhi. You know how many teachers were there of Sanskrit colleges? More than one lakhs. And you can imagine how many students may be there. Neodhi was more bigger than now Calcutta. And so, then you, oh, this boy is not like simple anything. Ordinary boy. Oh, he is, <coughs> is something more than we know. After some time, oh, he may become more bigger. And, and he did so many pastimes there. You, should, you must know that what is Nodip? Nodip is himself Vindavan Dham. No difference between Vindavan and Navadvi. So the pastimes of Navdeep, of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, are more superior, more superior than the pastimes of Puri and Godavari. And Godavari. Godavari. Hmm? More, more. Because you know that Navdeep is of Vrindavan. Nanda Maharaj has come like Jagannath. And Jasoda Maya. Sachi They are not in Puri. No? You know? In Puri. Puri is not Nodip. What is Puri? Dwarka. Oh, Dwarka. Or sometimes? Manatams Kuruch, Kuru Chhatra. Hmm? They are Krishna, Baldev, Subhadra, and all are there. Hmm? Not any ban, Bindavan is there. Never. So, it is not Vrindavan. And the pastimes of Navadip are more superior, so much supermost, than the pastimes, pastimes of Puri. Puri. And more superior, Puri is more superior than Godavari. Godavari. But we see, what see? We see opposite. <coughs> oh, Raya Ramananda, the dialogue between Raya Ramananda and Mahaprabhu. Also super excellent. Hmm? There he was admitted in the school of Vishakha Devi, Mahaprabhu. Hmm? And he learned everything from Raya Ramananda. Hmm? 
And then he came to Puri. And Ramananda also left that position and he also came to Puri. And in Gambhira, he tested all the three wishes there. So it seems that Puri is more superior than Navadip. And Puri is superior than uh, Gambhira. Godavari is more superior than Puri. But if you know all these truths, conclusions, then you can you must know all these things and go, go through very deep and deep. Jab Chaitanya Charitamrita Pada Vita If you are reading Chaitanya Charitamrita yourself, then you cannot realize anything. You cannot go deep. So you must read Srimad Bhagavatam or Chaitanya Charitamrita or any book of our Goswami. Oh, in the shade of, in the guidance, guidance. guidance of high or class. superior <laughs> high class of Rashik Tattva Govaisna. No. Higher and Rashik Tattva you are understanding? He should be Rashik. Nigamakalpataror Galitang Thalam. Chokamakad Amrit Drapasanyutam. His heart should be saturated with love and affection. Everywhere, Rasha, 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 Rasha. <laughs> Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhagavata. Light, Raramananda. Sarup Damodar. Like Rupa Goswami. Like associates of Srila Rupa Goswami. Aptul, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Srila Prabhupada, my Guru Dev, Swami Ji, like this. Hmm. Exalted personalities. Hmm. Oh, all, everywhere, Rasha. Nothing, nothing is there. Only rush and rush. And you should go. And unconditionally, you should take shelter there. Oh Prabhu, I want to hear something. And mercifully, if he will surrender, then mercifully they will oh, tell all Harikatha. What is hidden? Conclusion in Chaitanya Chaitamri. Then you can know the glories of Masri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his associates. Then Mahaprabhu oh, uh, was married so many past times. Jagai Madhai was liberated. liberated. I wanted that some drama, uh, play. drama, play of, Jagai. drama play of Jagai Madhai. Why not of Prahlad Maharaj? Hmm? Why not of <coughs> the past time, um, the um, life of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami? That we did here or where? Last year. Here? here? Last year, Raghunathaskaswami. Huh? I want that. Rupa now, so many new, new devotees are here. I want that also. Good Siddhanta. Good drama. Huh? Good drama. <laughs> <laughs> like Haridas Thakur, like Jagai Madhai, like Raghunath Das Goswami, or like others. Life of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we did not do here. Huh? So we should do like this, not for one moment or two minutes and nothing, not like this. This would be very great and it should be with so many teachings. What? Teachings. teachings. So Mahaprabhu, oh, he, by Haridas Thakur and Nityananda Prabhu, he liberated Jagai, Jagai Madhai. And so many past were there. And at last he was married. And after marriage, oh, by the order of her mother, he went to Gaya. Why? <coughs> to do some obligations. Huh? Obligations. 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 To who? For his father. Hmm. But to, it became what? Opposite. Opposite. He made that Shishwar Puripad. And Ishwar Puripad, the disciple of Madhvendra Puripad, also a exalted person. He was a Rashi, also Tattavi. I told something about him. And he told that, oh, I came for doing some oblis, oblations. oblations to for my father. But this will not do. 
if i'll do for my father only i am doing for my, only one but if i am serving any vaishnav by this my whole family whole world will be liberated liberated so he told his gurudev today i am offering my this body my soul my all senses my atma everything in your lotus feet now i am no more mine or oh, this is your property please be merciful to me sprinkle your mercy that i can serve conjugal radha and krishna and then at once he initiated mahaprabhu and then mahaprabhu was changed totally changed and he wanted to go to vrindavan but a aerial came oh now time is not oh so time will come and you then you can go to vrindavan you should return to navadweep there are so many things to do so anyhow he became unmatta mad mad in pain in krishna and chanting hare krishna in so much suffer feeling separation from krishna anyhow he returned he stopped to teaching totally he told that i cannot teach you because now i am seeing when i open my book krishna krishna all the letters all the grammatical something condensed form all they appear me before like krishna a very beautiful nanda nandan and i become mad. so much mad so now i can oh keep you should find your books uh, or you can go to another teacher Call teacher <coughs> they told oh we cannot follow any other teacher we want to be with you hmm? always mahaprabhu told that oh then if you are with me then oh from today we should begin chanting hari name and you should follow me eh? no no instrument nothing no kartal no mridanga only your clapping god given yeah. these hands <coughs> and chant for hare krishna hare krishna in the land of nadip here and there daily nagarjuna and they began they began this kirtan moment from there hmm? he told haridas and nitya oh haridas nitya nanda oh you should follow my orders i want some begging go door to door and to everyone you should beg some donation hmm? what donation not of money not anything no wealth no grains nothing or oh, what oh give me that you should tell once krishna one is something thought that they are mad they began to joke to laugh some told that get out from here and some honoring so much mahaprabhu told that in each evening he used to report me that my this order as going on or not and thus very quickly jagai madhai were delivered liberated and after that what became he took sanyas he wanted to go vrindavan but his mother came in santipur and she requested that oh i want that you should be in sanyas order but you should be in puri jagannath puri 
better not to be in Vrindavan. Here is so nearer. I can have your messages. And sometimes you can come to take bath in Ganges here. So you should be there. Oh, yes, that was done. And after that part, he went to south. And there he met Raya Ramananda. And so many pastimes. So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was returning from Vrindavan in the midway, where? In Prayag. In Prayag. Rupa Goswami and Anpam. They were coming to meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So they met with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And at that time, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu oh, sprinkled his mercy to him and told so many Harikatha to them. Of very, very high class of that Harikatha. Oh, can you tell something? There, you should take and stand up here. I want to tell all the instructions of Chi Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In Prayak, in Varanasi, and also in Godavari. These are of very high class of teachings. And I want that you have agreed to chant. You should know all the conclusions. And thus, or with a new energy, and with new inspiration. 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 Oh, you should again come like you were in the time of Srila Prabhupada. You. I want only this or donation from you all, especially from the senior Vaishnav here. Assemble. I know that they are more than uh, 60 or 75. So I, my request is only that. Nothing else. I don't want money. I have not come to make money. Never, never. No money problem. Nothing. <laughs> no position. No gain, self gain, gain. I don't want. I only want to help you. As my Prabhu, the Shiksha Guru, oh, requested me. So you should. <laughs> In the conversation of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sri Rupa Goswami, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained very deeply the process of uh, bhakti, the nature of Shuddha Bhakti. And he began by telling Sri Rupa Goswami that, Oh, my dear Rupa, please hear as I speak to you. You should see, you should understand. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or oh, inspiring Rupa Goswami. You are in the place of Rupa Goswami. We all. And what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is speaking? Oh, from him. So you should sing that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You should come with me in prayer. I am invited to come with me. Think that you are coming with me. First we should take bath in. Ganges. Where not in only Ganges, Ganges. where Ganges, Jamuna, Jamuna and, Saraswati. and Saraswati are meeting together. Oh, very beautiful scene I have gone. Oh, Ganges coming with very force there. Oh, very white water. And Jamuna, some slowly, hmm, she is coming. Oh, why slowly? Because she is somewhat mad in Krishna brain. And she is how? Her color is not white. Blackish. What? Blackish. Why? Because Krishna always takes his bath. Takes his bath. Eh? And sometimes Playing. the kajal of Krishna and gopis oh, makes in the water of Jamuna. And always thinking of, thinking of Krishna, of black Krishna, so she has become black. And always so mad. So both are meeting. Those are, both are sisters. Elder is Ganges and younger. But younger, are, well, younger is very sweet, very, uh, very lucky to be a Sakhi of Krishna. And where Ganga? Ganga is fit. 
charanamrita of Bamandev. But even though our sisters. So, come with me and you should come in the water of Triveni. Oh, Triveni. Hmm? And you should take bath there. Then come out. And then come on the bank. Oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is here sitting. And Rupa Goswami is there. Anupam is there. You just should sit there. And then you should hear. Shishatana Mahaprabhu began, began by saying, Suna rup bhakti rase lakhan vistav rupe kahi najai varnan that the ocean of bhakti ras and the characteristics, the qualities, everything about bhakti ras is unlimited. It is not possible to explain completely. So, I will just give you a very small hint, some indication, and then you should Conceive the idea in your heart and meditate upon it. Gabhi Paravar Shunye Bhaktiras Sindhu Tomai Chakai Tetar Kani Ek Bindu. There is no depth and it is so deep and dense. So I am only giving you one small drop. And then he said, In this world, there are so many living entities in the entire universe and they are spread all over in so oh, many different Don't species. shut up your eyes. Or stand like this. Right. Otherwise, <laughs> oh, some sleepness will come, and you what, lose everything. Opportunity. Oh, from so many far Away. distance you are coming here. So try to open you, always your ears. So all these living entities. They are wandering in the entire universe in 84 million species. And because of the. 8 million 400 thousand. Thank you for that. So they are wandering in all these species depending on their exercise of their independence and their karmas. And sometimes having go through so many dis distressful conditions and sometimes in happy stage, but unable to understand their goal of life, they are wandering for some happiness, for some enjoyment. One species after another species. The size of this living entity, the Atma, is very small. It is said that if we take one hair of our head and then the tip of that hair, if we can divide that in 1000 parts and then one part of that uh, division can be again further divided into hundred parts, then that small size can be compared in some way to the size of this minute living entity. It is so infinitesimal. And, but it's very powerful because it's part and parcel of Krishna. And these living entities, they are basically divided into two categories. And what are those categories? Thavar and Jangham. Those who are movable, and those who are immovable. Then Mahaprabhu explained further that in the division, those living entities which cannot move, they are further subdivided into three categories. And what are those categories? The aquatics in the water, the entities on the earth, and birds. Then we come down to the entities who are in this planet earth on the land. And they are in different forms, bees, animals, etc., etc. Out of that, the human beings are very small in number because there's so many insects, animals we cannot even conceive. So comparing the whole population, human population is very small. And within this population of human beings, very few people are actually civilized. Otherwise, most of them the majority of the population is completely unaware of spiritual life. Or they are life. like animals. Not only animals. In animals, go kara. What is? Donkeys. Oh, hogs and pigs. If you are not uh, doing bhajan, then you are more than them. What you are doing? You are not superior than them. Why not superior? 
than donkeys, hawks and pigs and monkeys. Why? If you are oh, going to sense gratifications, oh, marriage is a life, householder life like that, but no bhajan, then this one verse which describes this difference. Ahar nidra vai me tunancha samanye me tat pashubhi naranam dharmo hi eko adiko vishesho dharme nihina pashubhi naranam. So in this verse, this is described that all the living entities they have this propensity, propensities, four propensities: ahar nidra vai me tun, eating, mating, sleeping, and defending. This is common among all species. So. If human beings are superior to animals for any greater reason or any greater cause, then that is only religion, the following of religion, a faith towards the Supreme Lord, towards God, believe in Krishna. Animals cannot do that. Shastras are not meant for them. They cannot hear Harikatha. They have not been supplied with such intelligence or such senses, whereas humans can. Yet, attaining this form of human life, being a human being, if we simply act on these four basic principles to live happily in this world, to maintain our body, to live with our relatives and just think of materialistic way of life, trying to make a permanent arrangement in this temporary world, then we are simply animals. Only when we exercise our intelligence to know Brahma, Athato Brahma Jigyasa, that we want to know who is that Supreme Lord, why I have come here, what is my purpose, why I am suffering, if at the last, at the end of my life, if I have to give up everything, even my body, why I'm trying to accumulate these things, going through so many kind of uh, difficult situations, speaking lies, cheating, being dishonest, killing, violence, so much kind of sinful activities I'm trying to do, just for the reason that I'll give it up. So when one thinks on that plane, and with some submissive mood, he starts to admit that there is a Supreme Lord and I must surrender unto Him, then he, Brahmite, Brahmite kono then he becomes human being. So then <coughs> Mahaprabhu said, Brahmanda Brahmite kono Vanji, Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Beach. These living entities who are wandering in all these species, they are completely unfortunate. They have no good fortune. And they are wandering. By any great fortune, by the causeless mercy of sadhus and Krishna, Guru and Krishna, if they come in touch with pure devotees, they will understand what is the goal of life? The goal of life is to serve Krishna. Then they will understand in order to do that, I must go and approach a self-realized person who is known as Guru, who is Tattuvit, who knows the art of Krishna consciousness and he has realized that. He is not just speaking it. He is experiencing that super truth, that absolute truth. And he has the power to give that. He can, he can give that potency in that living entity. And the thus, qualities of that person is किस प्रकार का है दस्मात गुरुम प्रपद्ये जिज्ञासु शे मुत्तमं ब्राह्मणे चरेच ब्राह्मणे परेच निष्णांतम शब्दे परेच निष्णांतम ब्राह्मणे उपस्माश्यम In this verse the qualities of Guru are very nicely explained What? That he is well versed in all the Vedic knowledge He knows all the conclusion of all the Vedas Vedas, Puranas, Mahabharat whatever is compiled by and he not only knows the details, but he knows what is meant to be understood by going through all those studies. And he has realized that. And thus, he is fully capable not just to give that information, but he can clear all the doubts of his disciples because he's well versed and he knows why those things are being said, respectively and collectively together. And he should also be detached from worldly desires. And that and then next, this is external, but this is also very important. What is that he is completely detached from all the material sense enjoyment or material conception. Like of Swamiji was. No? Very quickly he came. And what he did? Miracle. In couple of years, he preached over the whole world. But unfortunately, those who could not follow him, and they collapsed. And those who follow, oh, even they are okay. Hmm. So, what I'm he gives? Sorry. What he gives? Shraddha. And up, upon meeting such a high qualified person, the, the fortunate living entity, he surrenders with great faith and submission and thus receives the Bhakti Lata Beach. And what is that Bhakti Lata Beach? That Bhakti Lata Beach is called Shraddha. And 
what is the inner inner potency of that shraddha? That shraddha is desire to serve Krishna. We don't have that. No conditioned soul. The nature, the, our our eternal nature is completely covered. We are only trying to enjoy ourselves. When we come in touch with pure devotees, then only we develop this desire that yes, I must serve Krishna. So this is the oh. greatest boon. A guru is he who can give in the heart of devotees what? Or the desire to serve Krishna. If he is really giving, then he is guru. Otherwise, collecting money and so many things is not guru. <coughs> so he must have. Oh, Otherwise, can't guru. <laughs> so you should try to search a guru like this, and then we, that seed of bhakti lata. What is that? To serve Krishna. This tendency, this desire will come. So out external symptom. Symptom what is? Shraddha. Oh, that he will oh, have so much belief, a strong belief in the words of his Gurudev. A strong belief on Vedas, Upanishad and Srimad Bhagavatam, especially on Srimad Bhagavatam. In the words of Krishna and in the words of oh, high class of devotees. He must have. Then we can know that oh seed is there. If not like this, no seed. Hmm? Only force. Hmm? Then what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told? Quickly after that. What becomes from that seed? Or oh, don't do. Quickly. <laughs> When the living ent entity has so much sukriti, performs so many past activities in relationship to bhakti, bhakta and bhagavan, then as a result of this great fortune he meets Sadguru and Sadguru gives him bhakti lata vij, the seed of the creeper of devotional service, which internally is Krishna Seva Vasana, the desire to serve Krishna, and is manifested outside as Sraddha. Very strong belief on the words of Guru Sahib if, if you are chanting, remembering, and also you want to, you have desire to for sense gratification. What is that? Have you been initiated or not? You should try to test, measure with a measure. Scale. Scale. Yeah. Uh, scale. <coughs> if you are both, that I want to uh, enjoy my sense gratification. Oh, Krishna, please help me. A oh, very beautiful oh, girl you should give me. I will marry. And very beautiful son and daughters. Give me some wealth that I can manage my oh, two, three cars. Oh, very good. <laughs> Hmm? Uh, what palace, palatial buildings with all kinds of facilities, all, and there should be no problem in my life. Oh, please be happy! I will serve you always. What is this? What is this? Cheating himself. A pure guru will not advise you to do like this. If you have so many anarth, oh, by chanting Raman, they will go away. They must go away. What is the meaning of liberation? Liberation means? Oh, be detached from worldly desires, worldly wealth and reputations and so many positions. This is liberation. No attraction for any worldly desire. This is liberation. Today or day after tomorrow, oh, after some days, from years, oh, you will have to come in this line. Otherwise, you cannot Advance. Then go. Then, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Though it is bitter, but in the last it will be very sweet. Better. And better. You know there is a fruit. <laughs> oh, the at first it bitter. So sour or bitter. bitter. But if you will take water, oh, very sweet. Very sweet. <laughs> like this. Amla. Amla. 
Now, when you have the seed, you should become a gardener and you should plant that seed within your heart. Then you have to water that seed, get some water. So there's some If you will not give proper water and nourishment, then what will be? Oh, Gurudev has given <coughs> that seed, but it will not sprout. And if anyhow, at the time of Gurudev, nourishment was okay, but after some time, no nourishment, no water of Harikatha, then what will be? If it is a sprouted event, it will dry. Hmm? Go on. So here Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, one will have to water the seed so that it will grow. But there's something in this instruction. If a gardener will want to water the, a seed, then he will have to bring that water from somewhere else. The water is not with him. So in the same way, when Mahaprabhu says, we should water the seed, this does not mean that we should hear our own chanting. This means that we should fetch some water from somewhere else. Very high class water very high quality. In other words, one will have to go and sit at the feet of a very qualified Vaishnav who has very high class of water. What is that? The very excellent Siddhantas given by our Acharyas and the very sweet pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his associates and Sri Sri Radha Krishna and their associates. So this watering, it should go on regularly. If we're taking care of a plant, we'll be very careful to give some water every day. So, on a regular basis, if best of all, every day, we should try to hear, very, get some very nice water from the lips of a pure Vaishnav, all the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. And then this water, it will nourish the seed, and it will sprout, and it will begin to grow. A creeper will come out, and as it starts to grow, first of all, two leaves will come. These, these two leaves, they're called Kleshagni and Subhada. Kleshagni and Subhada are the two leaves which grow out from the Bhakti Lata at the time of Sadhan Bhakti. So here is a test. If one is actually doing real Sadhan, hearing, chanting, remembering, one is actually in the line of Shuddha Bhakti, then two leaves must come. The first leaf is Kleshagni. Kleshagni means that all your distress is burnt or finished. No more distress. One's heart will always feel joyful. No anger, lust and irritation and bad material qualities. All these things will go away and one will feel very satisfied and happy within the core of his heart. This leaf, it must come. If we do not experience this, then we should understand we are not following the line of pure sadhan bhakti. Then the other leaf, subhada. Subhada means auspiciousness. All auspicious qualities of all the demigods, they will appear in one's character. He will have affection for all living entities. And all living entities will love that person also. They will become so happy. And especially, very easily by the arrangement of Krishna, they will have very good and high level of sadhu sangha. So this is called Shubhada. His life becomes auspicious. These two leaves, when they first appear, they are folded up. They are not opened out. They are folded like this. So only the underside of the leaf is visible. The underside of a leaf is very rough. But when the leaf opens out, then one can see the inner or the upper side of the leaf. And that is very smooth. This means, in the beginning, one will follow all the regulative principles. Out of a sense of duty, without any attachment to them. But one will think, yes, bhakti is very good. I must follow. This is called Vaidhi Bhakti. But then, as the leaves begin to open, then the other side of the leaf is very, very smooth. Okay. This means that gradually, in good association, when greed is awakened within the heart, then he will come into the line of Raga Nuga Bhakti, devotional service rendered out of spontaneous affection for Krishna, with a very thick relationship, natural and intimate relationship with Krishna. 
So then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu described how the Bhakti Lata it begins to grow more. It pierces the coverings of the universe. It goes into the Viraja River. It goes beyond Viraja into Brahma Jyoti. And then it goes up and up to the planets of Vaikuntha, the planets of Narayan. As the devotee in this world goes on hearing and chanting and remembering in the company of liberated and realized Rasik Vaishnavas, only then will the Bhakti Lata go beyond Vaikuntha and find a place to take shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna in Vrindavan. Then some very fragrant flowers will grow and after that some fruit will come. And this fruit is called Krishna Prem, the fruit of love of God. And though the sadhak, the devotee is here in this world, his Bhakti Lata has gone there to Goloka Vrindavan and he can taste the very sweet juice, the rasa coming from the fruit of Krishna Prem. People have a tendency to enjoy, even on higher planets, to enjoy different types of sense gratification or even the desire for liberation. But as all these desires, these are all removed, the mood becomes more and more refined and free from all material qualities. This means that now the Bhakti Lata Beach has pierced the covering of the material universe mm. and entered like, into the like Brahman. Karma can adi anabritam must come. But so, so when this quality comes, and yabilashita shunyam jnana kama dhanabritam, that one's bhakti is not covered by any karma, reward seeking activities, and not covered by jnana, the desire for, to cultivate knowledge for the purpose of impersonal liberation, and other things such as tapasya, the desire to perform austerities, and yoga to get mystic powers. When all of these impurities are completely cleansed from one's desire, this means that now the Bhakti Lata has pierced the covering of the universe and it has become very uh, uncontaminated. But now it is in Brahma Jyoti and moving in the direction of Vaikuntha. When the Bhakti Lata... What is the meaning? Is what is the, the meaning? Yes, when the Bhakti Lata is in the area of Vaikuntha, what does it mean? It means the devotee has in his mood of service. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead and I am his servant. He is the creator, maintainer and destroyer of everything. He has all powers. He can make the possible, impossible and the impossible possible. He can do everything. He is all pervading. He is everywhere, inside and out of everything. He is so merciful. He, the devotee knows all of these things. This is called Aishvarya Gyan. Oh, you should know here also that when bhakti develops from shraddha to nishtha, anath goes away. And then sadhan of two kinds, vaidhi and raganuga, gradually developing. Oh, taste comes. And after taste, so much attachment comes enchanting name and uh, hearing Hari Katha and serving all nine kinds of the limbs of Bhakti. And then Shuddha Sattva comes. Oh, it means what? That Bhakti has now come in the position of or bhav, mood, or Shuddha Sattva it has. Then it can go to Vaikuntha, after Sattva. Otherwise. So we will have to know all these things. <coughs> we will have to practice like this. Not Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Oh, Krishna gave me a beautiful wife. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. I want to divorce this. Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. I want this. Not this will do. No? So you will try to know all these things. Oh, you will have to go be your. Uh, so much energy in this, if you like this. If you want to have a good business, you will have to give your whole energy in business, then you can gain something. So why not in this business, you should give your full energy and gain so much thing. Eternal happiness you should go. Hari Hari Thank you. Today is now. Tomorrow we will Continue. begin after that. And... Uh, now, any um, drama? Yeah, yes. I think. Yes.
you should learn something from this. That even a high class of Brahman, he may be like Durvasa. Who was Durvasa? He is the manifestation of Shankar. Oh, Vaishnavanam Gyatha Sambho, very high class of devotees. So, in one sense, Shankar from Vaishnav, he is in the shape of Durvasa. Very high class of devotees. And he is teaching us for that even a very ordinary devotee, very ordinary devotee, chanting the language and observing a Kadashi event, engages his whole senses to please Krishna. He may be whether in house or the family, no how. But he is superior. Even to Durbasha was Brahman and he was Brahma with the Rishi. So in this past time you saw the glorification of Durbasha Rishi. But you should not do any offense in the Lord of Seat of Durbasha. Ordinary person cannot realize the glory of a very high class of devotees. If Durbasa is manifestation of Shankar Mahadev, you should see that Sudarshan was following him. In a moment, he could have finished him. But why he was making late? <laughs> this was it. Why he was late? In a moment he burnt that Sipsia fire. In a moment. But he is falling Durbasa, but not finishing him. Or oh, there must be some reason behind this. And what is this? Oh, two things. Oh, he knows Sudarshan. Who is Sudarshan? Sudarshan. There are two darshans. Vedant. Ku and Su. Sudarshan. Who gives the eyes, transcendental eyes to anyone. And he can realize his supreme personality of God or who is pure devotee. This light is called Sudarshan. So sometimes he finishes ku, bad thing, bad light, eyes, and gives a very transcendental eyes to devotees. So Durbasa is not ordinary. You know that after Durvasa Desh, he went to Vrindavan. Also in Shatta Yuga, when Ram finished his all pastimes, in the end he went. And Ramchandra took help of Durvasa Rishi to cheat others and to go to his Back on the above event. Here also you see that in Vrindavan or oh, there is a Durbasa place. He used to oh, uh, serve Krishna from there and gopis. Once gopi oh, taking so many offerings, paraphernalia, so many things. They wanted to come to Durbasa. But Jamuna was so flooded that they could not come. 
They went to Krishna. At the meantime, Krishna came. Oh, what is your pleasure? The gopis told that. Oh, we wanted to go to across Jamuna, and there is Maharshi Durvasa, and we want to satisfy him by so many paraphernalia, sweet paraphernalia. Why you are not going? Jamuna is so flooded. Oh, anyone is not ready to give his boat and to cross. Oh Krishna began to smile and told, you should go to Yamuna and tell that if in his whole life Krishna had not even looked to any females, he had not seen the face of a face of any female, then by this you should uh, we should go across river on feet. They believed in Krishna and they went to Jamuna and told, if Krishna had never seen a face of any lady, then we should cross the river by feet. And telling this, they began to walk <laughs> with their paws and easily they crossed the river. Oh, they became very happy and they went to Durvasa and lakhs and lakhs gopis. Oh, so many big, big plates they gave it to, offered to Durvasa. I initiated, he took everything. Then gopis asked him that now we want to return. Oh, you should return. How you can, you should return. Oh, Jamna is very flooded and Krishna told like this and we did as we across the Jamna. So now how we can go return? Oh, he told that. He smiled and again told. Oh, go to Jamna and tell that if in his whole life Durvasa had not taken anything and he is fasting always, then by his glory we can go across Yamuna. And then Jamna, then the gopis, oh, with their empty vessels, or they went to Jamna and told the same thing. If Jam Durvasa Rishi has never taken anything, then you should give away, we should cross you by on feet. And telling this, oh, they easily walked on the Jamna water. When they went to Krishna, if Krishna was waiting for him then, and when Krishna was there, then oh, gopis were smiling and told the Krishna, you are cheater and he is cheater. <laughs> oh, you are telling that I have never seen. seen any face of any lady or you have come in the home of your mother Jasoda. Have you not seen the face of <laughs> mother Jasoda? And we know that without us you cannot, uh, a moment you cannot live. Always surrounded by gopis. And you are telling that I have never seen the face of any lady. lady. And your Parma Guru, that is Durvasa, he ate in a second or all preparations. Lakhs and lakhs month. So many, so, many so, many oh, so many quintals and quintals. And yet he is telling that I have not taken. And Krishna told <laughs> that you should know that we have no false ego. Any surrender soul never takes anything. That I am doer, I am eater, I am so I am surrendered. There should not be karta. Karta, you know? Doer. Doer. So I am never doer. I never take anything. I never see anything. And like Turbasa also. He offers everything to me. He never takes. So don't take anything. Once a person told to me that what you eat, I told I never. Eat. I eat my life. Never. Then what you are doing? How you are Living. maintaining your life? Oh, we serve Mahasharam. So you should try to serve. 
not do what? They remains. <coughs> and then they become happy and So to Basha is not a very any ordinary per person cannot. He was always in the service of Krishna, Ramachandra, everywhere. You know, the Shankar serves Ramachandra as a Hanuman. The Shankar serves Krishna as Gopishwar Mahadev. And Bhim. Huh? And Bhim also. Bhim, Bhim. And like Bhim also. He is Shankar. So, the Basha is high class of Money to glorify the devotees, he comes. And in any way he glorifies them. <coughs> so, Prabhasa is the high class of Krishna. But to glorify Krishna and his devotees, he plays so many tricks. So, Durvasa Maharaj, Durvasa Maharshi ki, but Ambarish Maharaj ki jai. But try to follow. Durbasha Rishi, um, Ambarish Maharaj, not Durbasha. <laughs> Never. Always try to call. Observe a Kadishi and engage your whole senses, not in gratif sense gratification, but to please Krishna, like Ambarish Maharaj. Hmm? So, Maharaj Ambarish ki, Gol Pramana. My heart be blessing to all the players. Oh, very well. Very good play. Very wonderful. <laughs> Especially the uh, song that Mahaprabhu told. Oh, very excellent. Very excellent. <laughs> so, if you were seeing this past time here in a drama, and when actually Mahaprabhu with that Brahman, Balabhadra Bhattachar, and he was going to Vrindavan in the way of Jhari Khanda, a big mad, mad elephants, all tigers, very long, long, like Indian tigers, and lions, of tigers and all bears and so many animals, very ferocious, lying down on the way of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Mahaprabhu at that time had no Conscience. He was totally mad in chanting Krishna, 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 Krishna. <coughs> he was not looking what is in the way. And even a ferocious tiger was there and he was touched with the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu and he became also mad. Oh, chanting what? <coughs> Krishna, 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 Krishna. Mad and he found so many in a group. And Mahaprabhu uh, mercifully looked towards them. And from far distance the elephants became also mad in Krishna. They bent down on their knees, knees and telling Krishna, 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 Krishna. Mahaprabhu did so miracle. The trees with flowers and fruits of the pentong on the face of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Whole Prakriti, Prakriti means nature, nature. nature was at most all there. Became very helpful for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he was chanting, remembering. Krishna, 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 Ram, 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 Raghav, Ram, Ram, Raghav, Ram, Ram, like this. He made all the animals mad in Krishna play. At that time, all tigers and khargos, rabbits, deer and um, lions, elephants and others, oh, each other uh, with 
so much friendship and they are following Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Thus he came to Vrindavan. Always remembering Vrindavan. He saw mountains and he never saw black mountain. What he saw? Oh, Giraj. So big forests, not forest. Oh, Vrindavan. Dancing place of Krishna, like oh, Bansi but Bandir, but like all these things. He saw so many persons there, oh, but like a cowherd boy. He saw so many girls there, of hilly tribes, but he, what he saw? Oh, gopis are here, in this mood. And thus, in this way, he came to Vrindavan, making mad all totally. And then he came to Vrindavan. Gaur Pramananda. <laughs> if animals can be like this, why we cannot? I think that we are more ferocious <laughs> than these animals. They can attack one, two persons. And we can attack with atom bomb and nitrogen and thousands and lakhs of persons. So, they are not dangerous. Who are dangerous? Especially in the uh, way like friendship, but cheating us. In the garb of friendship. And what they are doing? They are taking all our wealth of bhakti and cheating. Oh, we are also devotees, but really not devotees. They are our enemy. So we should try to realize this. And from today, we should give up our animalities. Hmm? What is animality? Eating, drinking, be merry with worldly sense, sense gratification. So this animality should be go away from today and energy to come, oh, to serve Krishna Kanya, to respect Vaishnavas, all, oh, according to their quality, always chanting, remembering. We should try to promise this, that we want to do like this. And after some couple of days, you will realize, oh, you are totally changed. As Swamiji came, and change the whole atmosphere. So we must try to follow. Gaur Pramananda. My heartly blessings to all my daughters and my sons and all. <laughs>
<laughs> you have become more. You've taken away. You've taken it all away. You have become more. You've got into my heart and cleansed. Oh. Cleanser and soap. <laughs> Yeah! 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 Yeah!